All right, slapping the bass or thumping and plucking, as Larry Graham would say it. The main thing I want to start with is saying that don't overfocus on the technique. Focus more on the rhythm and the feel, right? Because that's what people are going to dance to. They're not going to stop and look at your technique. They just want it to feel good. Let's start with my, my right hand or my picking hand, my thumping hand. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. There are no right ways or wrong ways. It's only right if it grooves. If the technique's good but the groove is off, then you're doing it wrong. Here's a few ways to do it. With the thumb, you're just going to hit the string. You can hit the string and bounce off of it, right? You see how my thumb is pointing up? That's only one way. And believe it or not, I don't do it that way, but a lot of people do. It's not right or wrong until you make good music with it. So you can have your thumb going up. You can have your thumb going sideways. And I'm still bouncing off the string right now. Some people point their thumb downwards and, and twist their wrist this way. Doesn't matter how you do it. Again, it's the rhythm that you get with it. Now that you have those three different ways, straight up, sideways, down, I use the sideways approach and I don't bounce off the string, not normally. I don't pull away from the string. I do the same way I do it with my fingers. When I'm plucking with my fingers, I don't hit and, and pull away. I go through the string. If I'm going to play the A string, my finger goes through and stops on the E string. So here, if I'm going to thumb, thump the E string, my thumb goes through and stops on the A. And uh, when we get into the double thumb exercise, you'll see why going through the string for me makes sense. So whether I'm back here uh, off the fingerboard or on the fingerboard, my thumb goes through the string. Totally up to you whether you want to bounce or go through. I like to go through. The key here is to practice hitting the string you want to hit, okay? So once you've done this, a few times on each string, even when I go through my high string, my thumb goes through and rests on the body. So just practice getting a good sound on each string. Now, when you know what to do, not once you're good at it, don't wait until you're good. As soon as you know what your hand is supposed to do, add rhythm to it. One, two, three, four. The rhythm always helps you. Now hit it twice. Make it feel good. Now, you may notice or may not, my left hand is kind of dampening the string. If it didn't, you'd hear... That's less musical, right? So I'm holding down just lightly. The muted note is coming from my left hand, right? And you can determine by the left hand how much you want it to dampen. And as you can see, I, I lift up and then dampen really quickly. So that's a technique that you want to practice and get comfortable with, okay? The main key to all of this is once you learn the technique, add rhythm to it. Make music with it. Don't wait until you're good at the technique. The, the adding music to it will make the technique get better. Right? It's like if you want to learn to swim, don't spend a whole lot of time on the side of the pool. Get in the water. Okay? And the water will help you learn to swim. So get in the music. Once your right hand, or, or even if your left hand, or once your thumping hand, slapping hand, is getting a little comfortable, now we want to start adding notes, okay? It's easy to thumb in the key of E because it's a low string and then we pluck the high string. There's a lot of videos that show you how to do that. I'm going to show you something slightly differently. I want you to learn how to finger any note you want. So we all know about playing scales. Play scales with the thumb. I'm going to play a G major scale, third fret E string. I'm going to thumb the low G. Then I'm going to pluck the seventh, the fifth fret, sorry, on a D string, fifth fret G, and I'm going to play a G major scale that way. 
Notice that I'm doing it in rhythm. Go down the scale. If you want to hit the open A, G sharp. And just go through scales, right? You can do chromatic scales just to make sure that you're playing comfortably every note. You just want to be able to make sure you can play every note, not just one key, okay? Not just the key of E. The next thing I would ask, ask you to do, two thumbs, one plug. Okay? Last part, instead of hitting the high G, like that, instead of hitting the octave, I'm going to flatten my index finger and hit that note on the D string and hammer the G. Now I'm gonna go through scales that way. As you see, a little bit harder, right? But it just takes a little bit of practice. The thing now is we've got the technique even a little bit down, we wanna add feel to it, okay? So those are a few things that you can do to get you started on thumping and plucking, or slapping if you wanna call it that. The key, make good music. Thank you. <laughs>